What's going on guys? I was kind of excited about something today because my power supplies arrived for my mining setup that I'm getting started in this room that we're in. So um, yeah guys, this is sort of the first video I'm putting out showing you guys what I'm doing to set up this mining room. Of course I have no miners yet, but um, you can see the ugly um, drywall work. I swear that none of this is my drywall work. It's absolutely horrible. If I ever decide to finish this, look at that big gap up there, guys. Isn't that just horrible? Yeah. So anyway, I bought the house like this. That's definitely not my drywall work, all right, because I wouldn't have done that. If I ever decide to finish this room, I'm just going to cover these walls because I can't even work with this mess. But more to the point of my story, my power supplies arrived today. And I wanted to get them out of the box and get them set up make sure I know how to set them up properly. And I wanted to do this little video to, um, oh, hey, puppy. Why don't you um, get while dad's recording? Get. Okay, so I just wanted to pull them out and then uh, talk about them a little bit and show you exactly what I have going on. So what I've, what I've ended up doing here, let me take this apart and show you. Okay, what I've ended up doing is ordering two server power supplies okay which is a little bit different than what um, some of you are probably used to if you've ever built a computer before um, on most computers you have a you know square power supply with a bunch of cables coming out of it and in this case i'm um, i'm using uh, power supplies that would normally be used in a server so basically the reasons for that is um, the miner that i've ordered i need a bare bare minimum of 1200 watts of output um, and so if I only bought a 1200 watt power supply, then I would be running it at hundred percent capacity, which is terribly inefficient. So I would really, what I would like is to have at least a 1500 watt power supply. Well, um, I'm in North America, so I only have one 10 volt power that's readily available unless I wire some dedicated 220 volt circuits. So it was very difficult to find a power supply, both in stock, um, uh, at the 1500 watt level that would also operate on um, 110 volt power instead of 220 volt uh, and I mean I could get them this the only thing is is that they're about 400 bucks a piece and it's just so uh, you know not it's not very cost efficient so what I have here are two Hewlett Packard 750 watt power supplies okay now um, uh, if you've read anything about miners you probably heard that you can't run um, to uh, you know a single miner using two separate power supplies and really what that's to do with is because if one power supply were to fail and the other one continues to run you will be underpowering your device therefore um, you risk uh, frying your device and possibly lighting it on fire so what I ended up doing and of course these are already connected together but I have two of these breakout boards with a uh, crossover cable that runs between and what these do these um, obviously they plug into the server power supply just like this. Whoops. This one's a little bit stiff. Okay, so they plug in like that. And so they receive the power from the long strip here. And then they power the individual six pin ports on each board. So this allows us to, you know, convert from the server power supply over to regular, um, uh, you know, we're going to use uh, six pin to six pin connectors. And that's what these are, are ports for six pin connectors. So what this crossover cable allows is it senses if the power fails on one power supply, it will automatically turn off the other power supply instantly and the other way around. That way there, so if one power supply fails, the other one can't run and then you don't fry your device and you don't burn your house down to the ground, which is very, very important. So I got that all set up. Um, I got some uh, power cables that I had left over since I've been building computers since I was like nine years old. I have a ton of them. So I have an 18 gauge cable and a 16 gauge cable, which are both just fine for these power supplies. Like I, like I was saying, they're only 750 watts. So um, of course, amperage equals um, watts divided by volts. So 750 divided by 110 is just shy of seven amps. Um, and you can get what I can on an 18 gauge cable you can get what eight amps So I should be fine with an 18 gauge cable and the 16 gauge is obviously overkill for the size of uh, Power supplies that these are the other benefit is that these total together only about 14 amps 
and a standard 110 volt circuit in North America will handle 15 amps so I can run both of these on a single circuit and guys let me tell you knowing things about electrical is very very important when you're going to be setting up miners that are going to be using a lot of electricity and maxing out your circuits possibly um, and have a serious fire hazard okay so if you um, if you don't know anything about electrical, you don't know how to do the math on your electrical, I highly recommend hiring an electrician or getting somebody that you know that who knows this kind of stuff, all right? With that said, I'm not an electrician, okay? And um, nothing in this video is electrical advice whatsoever. Now, of course, guys, power supplies aren't the only thing that we need. Of course, we need a good power source, and we're going to need internet up here in order to plug our miner in. So here, let me just show you what I've got planned right now. Of course my mining room uh, I'm just using right now just uh, a little Mickey Mouse coffee table so I'm sitting here crouched down like a lunatic uh, but eventually I'll get some uh, shelving and all that built here so for now I, I only have one circuit uh, in my mining room uh, but this will be expanding so I have one circuit here that is um, pretty well dedicated for this room uh, surge protector power bar um, for temporary use I have some professional surge protectors on the way and I have this cheap Chinese um, range extender to extend my Wi-Fi range up to here. And it happens to also have a RJ45 port for an Ethernet cable. So that's why I kind of had my computer up here today in order to get it plugged in and just verify that the port on this cheap Chinese range extender actually works to connect to my, um, my uh, router properly and connect to the Internet. So once my miner gets here, I'll be plugging in. Um, directly to the range extender and uh, and we'll be able to get started now when I expand I will either have to um, run other devices by Wi-Fi or else I will actually just pick up a network port and plug the network port here instead now as far as power like I was saying I still I only have one circuit there's no other circuit in this room whatsoever so I have um, of course that door right over there is access to my uh, attic space um, in, in the void here in the underneath the roof and straight down this side of the house is directly down to where my power panel is which is sort of central in my house and um, what I'm going to end up doing is running a heavy cable from down there now I'm just going to put an extra power panel right here on the wall that way there I can um, I can just run some short circuits right off a power panel right here so I'll be able to get um, at least six circuits off of it I'm going to run a 40 amp connection up here anyway so 40 amp 220 gives me 80 amps at 110 yeah so I'll be able to run six circuits off that likely and that way there when I build up my mining room to its full capacity um, for what I intend on doing anyway I will have lots of power so basically it. guys that's it I'm getting really really excited to get this hooked up so I just wanted to, like I say, unbox these and get them set up, make sure everything's working before my miner gets here tomorrow uh, because my A3 will be here. And I've already seen in the last 24 hours, the uh, Sciacoin hash rate has more than doubled. So that means profitability is going to drop very, very quickly. So I want to have my miner hooked up and mining as fast as possible. So tomorrow, guys, uh, by the end of the day, you're going to see me hooking up my A3 and let's get this thing hashing. I'm jacked.